Hi everybody, welcome to another Quick Wing Tips. Today we're going to check out the Speaker Manager, the latest edition from firmware 1.11 in the wing. Many people were verbal about not having crossover like EQ in the main out and in the matrixes section. So in response to that, Behringer add the speaker manager, a really powerful tool that is in the effect block. So if you go on your effect page, it can be any of the 16 block there, and it's made to be inserted on your stereo bus. I will do a quick run through and give you a really short example of how to use it, how to set it up for a two-way system, just for fun. So the first thing that we have here is a high pass filter. I'm gonna try a Butterworth 12 dB per octave curve here, just as an example. If you wanna cut down frequencies so that your subwoofer do not interfere with your higher range speaker. Next to that, we have a tilt EQ, really similar to the one that we have on the channel strip. Uh, after that, we have a low pass, which will be used to cut down the higher frequencies to not have them in your subwoofer. After that, we have a phase, actually we have a phase reverse polarity, and we have a rotary knob that will switch the phase between zero and 100 degree. So for those of you who are using uh, tuning software like Smart, to align your PA and align the phase of everything. Uh, this is a really cool tool. There is also a precision delay that goes from zero to five meter. This is to time align your subwoofer and your higher driver. Let's say as an example that your subwoofer sitting two feet in front of your speaker, you want to delay them so everything everything arrived in time to the crowd. There is also a uh, position knob that will play around with the delay of the left and the right. It's like if you were physically moving the box left to right in the room. This is something that is meant to be used with a calibration software. This is not something you will play around by here. Even you can, I recommend you to use a calibration software for that. Next to that, we have a dynamic EQ. Dynamic EQ is really similar to the one that we have on every single channel of the console, like we have on the gate here. And finally, we have a zero attack limiter. Uh, let me give you an example of how this thing is working with my pink noise here. Uh, as soon as the signal go over the threshold that I've set on the limiter, it's just completely stopped from going any louder. It's not really musical, it doesn't sound really good. This is not something that you want to use like a uh, mastering limiter. Just This is there to protect clipping or DC wave going into your amplifier or active speaker. The speaker manager can be inserted uh, anywhere on a console if you really want to, but most people would use it on their main or matrixes. I'm gonna give you an example with uh, a matrix in, so you're gonna send signal from your main out, let's say, or main one in this case, to two of your matrixes, and on the second insert in the bottom of your matrix, turn that on, and that way from matrix one here, I'm not gonna have any low frequencies going to those. I'll put matrix two here. I'm not gonna have any high frequencies going to that output. So in this scenario here, I'm sending out again, my master to two matrixes. My matrix two will take care of my subwoofer feed and my matrix one will take care of my higher range speaker. You can use a speaker manager with any type of speaker. Could be passive uh, speaker running amplifier, active speaker with built-in amplifier that you don't like the crossover, apply on top of that, the speaker manager. Also, I like to use that kind of stuff when tweaking out monitor. There is no limitation on where to use it. I will strongly suggest you to check out your manufacturer spec or read your user manual when it's time to set up your crossover point and never go too extreme with the limiter. If you're going really hard at it, it can create square wave and square wave can destroy speakers. So I'm just giving you a hint right there. Use it, but don't abuse it. I hope that the speaker manager will help you have a better sounding room and achieve better mixing. If you made it this far, subscribe to the channel. If you like that video, give it a thumbs up. If you think that video will be useful to somebody, share it with them. Until the next video, please take care of yourself guys and I see you all later.